I've seen this mistake a lot of times on many projects and it's probably one of the most common mistakes in Next.js. Here we have one regular page in Next.js and if we want to add some kind of interactivity, for example, to create some count state, we need to use use state hook from React. And here it is, I imported the hook and I'm going to put count to zero. And what are we going to get in Next.js is the fail to compile. You're importing a component that needs use state. It only works in client components. So you probably encountered this error 1 million times before and the solution is always the same. You go to the top of your file and you put use client. And now when we go to our page, it's working, but is this always a good thing to do? In this moment, we need to understand what are server and what are client components. To understand it better, we are going to the Next.js documentation and they have a page with server and client composition patterns. And here we can see exactly what are the differences between the server and client components. Server components are fetching the data, accessing backend resources, keeping sensitive information. And this one is really important keeping large dependencies on the server, reducing client-side JavaScript. So that's that backend stuff that our server components are doing. And the client components are adding interactivity, all the hooks and all that nice front-end stuff. Now, when we know what are server and client components, we can get back to our page where we turned here our page to a client component. And in the same time, we turned all the imported components, so the whole import tree, to client components as well. So in our case, it's button and header. And if we go to header, we can see that it is not a client component. But in this case, it is because we used use client here on our page. So like this, we cannot make any backend calls from our header. And I'm going to show you. So here, if we say get from backend and we create a new function and here we say use server we are going to get an error so here now when we go here we are going to get it is not allowed to define inline use server annotated server actions in client components so here in our header we don't have use client but still it became a client component and also here on our page if we here put some kind of let's say some heavy component thingy which is using a lot of dependencies then like we saw here in the documentation large dependencies of the server are not going to be on the server they're going to be on the client side javascript which is going to significantly reduce the performance of our application and that is really an important thing to know when you're creating your pages or your components and what is the solution? Here, in our case, I'm going to remove this heavy component thingy and I'm removing our use client, also our use state and our count state. And what are we going to do? We are going to create a completely new component. I'm going to call it count and I'm going to quickly create it with my React snippets. So I'm using RFC to create a component. And here I'm going to put that same count. I'm going to import the use state hook from React and here we are going to put that famous use client. And I'm just going to display that count so we can see it. And now on our page, I'm just going to import it inside of our page like this. So now we don't have use client, but our count is a client component and if we go here now we can see our count which is zero and we can do whatever we like here all the interactivity is going to be inside of our count component we also separated this whole logic and now it's much more readable when we go to our page we have our component and here we are calling it and we can call it on other places so it's not only the client versus server it's also the readability of our code just wanted to quickly show you visually what we have done. So here our page component was a client component and we couldn't call any backend operation from our header and also the client side heavily relied on all the dependencies from our heavy thingy. So what we did, we moved use client, created a new 
count component and now page remains the server component header is still a server component and heavy thingy is also a server component so we don't have any of those problems and we can manipulate our interactivity and everything that we need inside of our count component that's it warriors i hope i helped you out with this one if you have any more questions i'm always answering the youtube comments and also there is a discord channel where i'm always online and you have the invitation in the description below join the horde